Hello everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can install MySQL on Windows operating system. So let's begin. So first thing what you are going to do is you are going to open up any one of your browsers and simply say download MySQL. So it is going to take you to this particular folder and uh, this is the first uh, link uh, which you are supposed to click that is www.mysql.com and you can click on this particular this thing like this. Okay, then when you get to these uh, windows like this, if you are getting confused, uh, like which one to click and all those things, okay, there is a proper solution for this, okay, you can go back and you can say MySQL community server. Uh, you just click on that and it will take you to this particular page, okay, the latest version now is like uh, my community server 8.0.30, okay, and you are going to look at this particular thing, not these two, you are not going to download the, the zip files, you are going to download the Windows 86, 32 and uh, 32 and 64 bit MySQL installer MSI. Just click on go to the downloads page and it is going to uh, bring you to this particular window. And now here, please do not uh, download the 5.5 MB version. Okay, please download the full version that is 488 MB and click on the download button. Okay, your download should start. Okay, and if it asks for any kind of account details and all those things and you just can say no thanks uh, just start my download just click on that and your file is going to get downloaded like this so once uh, the download is complete okay you just have to click on that that's it okay and your installation process is going to start so once it starts you are going to come to this particular window Okay, now you can say developer default, server only, and you, you are having all these options like this. Okay, so I would suggest to keep it on uh, the developer default itself and click on the next option. Okay, it's going to say uh, the product uh, is uh, this thing, which is going to uh, get installed and uh, some of the uh, some of the softwares like this uh, needs to be installed manually also. Okay, so I would suggest just click on the next button. Okay, it says, uh, do you wish to continue? And you just have to say yes and these are all the softwares which are going to get installed you just have to click on execute and one by one it is going to install all the softwares for us okay once when the installation is done okay you are going to see all these green color uh, arrow marks like this now just click on the next and again you can click on next one more time Okay, so I would suggest leave all the things uh, as uh, default here, the port numbers and all those things. So usually MySQL's port number is uh, like 3306. So let it be like that only and just click on the next. So it says uh, use a strong password uh, that is recommended and all those things. Click on next. And here you are supposed to give any kind of uh, password which you like. So let me just select one password. And even if it's weak, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can click on next. Uh, keep everything this as default. Click on next once again. And then here, click on execute. So one by one, it is going to execute like this. Okay, you have to wait until you see all the green tick marks like this. So once when it is done, you just have to click on the finish option. And then it is going to say that uh, MySQL server 8.0.30, the router is the router is also 8.030. Then click on next once again. So you are going to <coughs> you are going to come to this particular window. Just click on the finish, and then again next option. Okay, so here it says uh, you can check uh, if the MySQL is uh, correctly installed in your system by uh, clicking on this check button. Okay, so give your password which you have chosen. At the installation time and click on the check button and if you get this green color as connection succeeded that means you have successfully installed my sql in your particular system now you can click on the next option then at the last step is to click on the execute button itself so once when it is done click on finish okay then next and finish okay this uh, concludes the entire my sql setup in your windows operating system so let me just close this window okay and now in order to check okay what you can do is you can go to start and you can say my sql uh, you're, you're going to get the workbench as well so you can click on that my 
SQL Workbench option. Uh, it's going to start up the MySQL Workbench like this. Okay, and see here is the local host. The root is the admin. And let's click on that option and it is going to ask for you for a password. Give the password which you have chosen. Click OK and uh, you will be connected to the MySQL server like this. Okay, this is from Workbench. So this is how you start uh, MySQL Workbench. Okay, if you want to, you can do it from uh, the command prompt as well. Okay, so start a new command prompt like this. I've started a new command prompt. And now let me just show you. Uh, you have to go to the C drive. Okay, in which you have to go to the program files option. And you will be seeing a new folder called as MySQL over here. So if you open up that one, okay, you are going to see all the MySQL files uh, which you just uh, installed uh, are right over here. Now, as you can see, you can go to this MySQL server 8.0. It will have that bin folder. Open that and uh, these are all the MySQL files. Uh. So what you can do is you can copy this and come to your uh, command prompt, type cd navigate to that particular folder till that bin folder and you have to say my sql hyphen u root hyphen p okay so this is the username of uh, my sql hit enter and it is going to ask you for a password and enter your password which you have kept during installation and hit enter and you will be inside the my sql database like this okay and now if you want you can say show databases semicolon and it is going to show you the default databases which you have in my sql and if you want to create your own database then you have to say create database ecoders give semicolon and hit enter and it will say query is okay and one row got added or one row got affected like this in this particular list if i now say show databases again semicolon and hit enter and you'll be able to see the new database which we have just created in MySQL database. So this is how you have to install MySQL database on Windows operating system. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can contact me at this uh, information. Okay, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.